We are back at Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire for another first round match at the Pro Series Random Draw Doubles Tournament. And in this match, the team of Carl Witham and Nick Norcross are taking on Jonathan Boudreau and Chris Bovair. And we're already underway with Carl Witham on lane three and Jonathan Boudreau on lane four. Carl qualified 51st with a 579 in the five string qualifying round. Jonathan had a 626, which was good for 15th in the, uh, in the qualifying. Carl with him with a spare in the first box, Jonathan Boudreau with a nine. Jonathan punches out the half Worcester, right side 3-9. Carl Witham has 9 on the spare, leaving a 6-pin. A piece of wood in front of it. Oh, and he goes by that piece of wood. He misses the, uh, what should have been a pretty routine spare. Obviously, he's pretty disgusted with that. He does make it for a 10. So he's got 29 after two and a 13 pin lead over Jonathan Boudreau, who has 16 through two. Jonathan misses the head pin again and drops four, I believe. Five. Carl Witham drops eight, leaving a six ten. No wood this time. He's just got the uh, two pinner by itself, and he misses that again. It might be showing uh, a few butterflies in the early going here. Not sure he has been in match play before in the Pro Series. In any case, it's a ten box, and he does gain another pin against the nine by Jonathan Boudreau. It's a 14 pin lead for Carl Witham and Nick Norcross over Jonathan Boudreau and Chris Bobert. Jonathan with a nice one three pocket hit and he drops seven. He's got the five, seven, and eight. Some wood that might help him. Carl with a seven drop and another pretty good spare lead. And Jonathan with the spare uses the wood to convert that five, seven, eight. And Carl misses the spare once again. Again, it looked like a pretty routine spare, but you know, if anyone tells you they've never missed a, a bunny like that, they're lying because we've all done it. Jonathan with six on the spare. That trims the lead to six pins through four. Carl Witham has 47, Jonathan Boudreau with 41. And Jonathan with a nice bid on that four, five, seven, eight with the plank in front of the four, five. He wasn't able to get anything to take out the seven. The plank just pushed back and took out the four, five, eight. Carl with him with a nice bid on that 510 split. He used that wood and it came across right in front of the 10 pin and then it hit the wall and then came across in front of the 10 pin once again. So it'll be a nine box for each bowler. And that'll bring up Nick Norcross and Chris Bobert. In qualifying, Nick Norcross had 607 which was good for 30th position, and Chris Bovair had 606. He was, obviously, he was 31st. Chris Bovair, you might remember from the Pro Series playoffs. He was in the, uh, in the finals a couple of years ago before losing to Craig Holbrook in that two-string match. There's a nice spare by Chris Bovair. One, 
two, three, and seven. Uh, you're a nice one, three, five to hit. Nick Norcross begins with a seven after punching through the middle. Didn't have much to work with. So Chris Bovair will be working on that spare, and he can bring his team into the lead at this point. If he gets, because it's uh, five pins right now, but he's got the spare, so and he drops six. So that, that gives his team a one pin lead. Nick Norcross missed the head pin, but got a break, and he's got the one, two, eight, pretty makeable spare. Chris Bowles out of, or rather, uh, Nick Bowles out of Central Park, as you can see on his shirt in the Friday night pro league, and he also bowls out of Woburn Ball, where he recently recorded a 2-10 game. That's uh, pretty, uh, pretty rare accomplishment to, to break 200, and by that much, a 2-10 game is uh, very unusual. Nick has really upped his game over the last year or so. Chris Bovair bowls out of Lita Lanes in Nashua. And he also, both of these guys also bowl in the World Invitational Team Tournament every November. Chris is on the head pin again, but a little too full. He leaves the two. Four, six, ten, and Nick Norcross with a nice one-two pocket hit, but he got nothing out of it. Really, he's got the five, seven, eight, ten piece of wood in front of the five that he'll have to try and use it. He might try to go out towards the right end of that wood and see if he can get it to kick over into the five, seven, eight, and have the ball take out the ten. And that's probably what he was trying to do there, but he didn't really get might have wanted to get a little further out towards the right end. And in any case, that was really a low percentage shot there. Difficult lead. Chris with an eight box, or a nine box rather, and Nick with an eight. Right now, it is a two pin lead for Bover and Boudreau. Chris Bover leads Nick Norcross by eight. And as you remember, uh, Carl with him led Jonathan Boudreau by six through five. There's a strike by Chris Bovair in the fourth. Let's take a look at it on replay. Pretty full hit here, but lots and lots of sidewall action, and he wipes out that three six on the right side. So that's a strike in the fourth for Chris. And Nick is on the right side of the headpin again. He takes out four, leaving the four horsemen left plus the five eight. Another difficult leave. So Nick will be open in the fourth. That'll be an eight box. Well, he started out with a difficult split, 4, 5, 6, 10, off a full hit, but the 4 and 5 went, leaving just a 6, 10 with a couple of planks. I don't think he's likely to have much trouble with this. Meanwhile, Nick Norcross with a nice head pin hit, but he is left with another difficult split. He might be able to use that wood to kick the 3. And he tries to uh, tries to do that, but he catches a little too much of the three pin as uh, Chris Bovair converts that routine spare in the fifth. 
Nick with a nine. Bid by Jonathan McGraw on that one, two, nine, ten, but that's a difficult lead. Both bowlers will be open. Carl records an eight, and Jonathan does the same. So Carl Witham has 64 through the sixth, and Jonathan Boudreau 58. There's a strike by Carl with him. Great shot. He really pounded the one-two pocket. And let's take a look at it on replay. Just high flush, one-two pocket. That goes down in a hurry. Pretty authoritative shot right there by Carl with him. Jonathan Boudreau with a spread eagle. And then he hits the object pin there, uh, two pin, but just punches it straight back, so he will be open in the seventh. That'll be an eight box. Did well to work it out for eight. Let's see what Carl Witham can do with that strike. Well, it's going to be a half whistler, and you can see his uh, demonstrative reaction to, to some of these shots. He's, there's no... Uh, doesn't hide his emotions at all. But he's got another ball to uh, to fill the strike. Carl, Jonathan, and Nick all kind of struggling in this game. Chris Bobear is the only one that really has much of anything going so far. Carl will put a six fill on the strike. That gives him 80 through seven. Jonathan Boudreau with a nine drop working on the seven pin but he misses it. Doesn't seem as loose as he normally is. Okay, Carl with a seven box for 87 through the eighth. Jonathan with a 10, 76. Five and eight. I think that nine pin is still lurking there, so it's a three drop. Jonathan Boudreau also crosses over. He leaves one, two, seven, and ten. Not much to choose between these two leaves. So both bowlers are going to be just trying to make an out in this box. And Carl with him with a, a nice out there for a nine. It's going to be a 7 for Jonathan Boudreau. He has 83 through the ninth. Carl with him with 96. And another tough lead for Carl with him. And Jonathan Boudreau with a splash on the head pin, but he's got the four and ten and no wood with the exception of that one piece that's way over on the right edge in front of the ten pin. I don't know if he's going to try to use that or just go with the four pin and see if he can make something happen. Either carve it over into the ten or bang it off the wall or something. Or just take the four and go for the pin count. Sometimes in a close match it's better to just Take your medicine. Now we a 10. So Carl with him with a 104 game and Jonathan Boudreau with a 93. So 
they'll turn it back over to Chris Bover and Nick Norcross to finish up. And Chris Bover will be adding to the lead that that his team has. It's eight pins right now, plus the um, plus the bill. He's got, he's got a 19 pin lead, but uh, Carl Witham led by 11 pins. And that's going to be an eight drop. So that gives, uh, it's a, now it's a, um, Cross with a 10. And you can see that Chris Bover may have tried to get a little too fine with that piece of wood. Anyway, you can see it was, he was a little concerned about it because it didn't really cover the 2-5. So he was not able to just push it back. In any case, it's a uh, 9 box. Through 6, Chris Bover has got 80. Nick Norcross 52, so that's 28 pins, but then you uh, subtract the 11 that Carl Witham put on Jonathan Boudreaux, so it's a 17 pin lead for Bovair and Boudreaux. And there is a strike by Chris Bovair. This is a really solid shot, 1-3 pocket, really lively pin action there, and that's a strike in the seventh, and that's going to really... Wow, and that's a great bid by Nick Norcross. He had three, six, seven, ten, and he cut the three pin. It seemed perfectly, but it just went right in front of the seven and then around it and behind and did not touch the seven. So it'll be an open box. That's really a tough break right there. Nick will record a nine. So now... Chris Bovair's team lead by 18 plus the strike fill. So Nick Norcross really has his work cut out for him in the last three boxes. And he drops five, leaving the the Kaliri difficult lead. One, two, four, seven, nine. Chris Bovair drops five. He'll have another ball to fill that strike. on the strike. Nick Norcross with a nine box. Chris Bobert with an eight. So through, with two boxes to go, through eight, it is a 20, let's see, 24 pin lead for Bovera and Boudreau. So that means that Nick Norcross probably needs to throw a double somewhere in the last two. And there is another Kaliri. That's a tough break. He probably has to convert this and then throw a double in the tenth to have any kind of a chance. Meemockers Bovera. 10 and a piece of wood that might be a little bit of a distraction. It's almost in front of the 6, but not, not quite. But it's no distraction at all to Chris Bovair. He converts the spare, and that's, that's pretty much going to do it. That gives Chris 115 with a ball through 9. And there isn't enough time for Nick Norcross to make up the difference in, in one box. Good ball by Nick, he drops nine, leaving the five pin. Chris Bovair with seven on the spare. So Chris Bovair and Jonathan Boudreau are going to 
move on to the second round here at the random draw doubles pro series event at Lakeside Lanes. Give you the final score in just a moment. And as they finish up, you can see that um, Boudreaux and Beauvert finished at 224, Witham and Norcross 198.